Hello and welcome back to my ultimate team um, weekend league this weekend or the past weekend. Uh, it's, this weekend has been absolutely nutty. Uh, somehow I'm eight and two. Um, every game, like the first ten game, every single one was so hard. Um, players shining at the moment, I'd probably say Renato and Rashford. I would say Rashford slash Dalglish. Uh, Verratti as well, Verratti's really good. Um, other than that, the team's quite average. Um, but first game, we're coming up here. 1-0 up, and this guy wasn't too good. No, I don't mean to offend him, but he wasn't the best. And I conceded straight away to go 1-1. On the <laughs> Considering this is like the first game on a Sunday, I've got to play 20 games. Then I'll start conceding to... Someone that I shouldn't. <laughs> it's not how you want the day to start. But Dalglish brings us back 2-1. Straight up in the lead. Dalglish is... like When you get his finishing down, he is good. Like You can't finesse. You just got to literally just power it. And it, they seem to go in when you power it. So I'm going to try and think of that as I go forwards. Uh, Renato trying to create something here. Rashford brings it back. Renato with a nice run. And he bangs it into that corner there. I was expecting like a rage quit because I was actually dominating this guy quite well. Uh, but he, he stayed in the game, fair, fair play to him. Um, I always respect people that stay in games that they're not going to get anything out of particularly. Uh, but here's Verratti just dinking it over the keeper into the corner. Um, actually, I think he does quit at some point. Um, but he stayed in for quite a while, so respect to that. Uh, I think he was going full out attack, trying to get back into the game, and I just kept exploiting the gaps. Uh, Verratti there, he'd done an offside trap. Straight into Rashford and bang into the goal. So I think he pauses it here and goes for the quit. I think. I think. No, no, he doesn't. He keeps staying. He's staying longer than I thought he did. So <laughs> respect. Oh no, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Uh, I think he quit at half time there, so. Into the next game, there's like icons. Every team now is absolutely unreal. So running down the wing with Dembele. Pass it into Dalglish. Bounce it off to Renato. And a quite a simple goal there, really. Renato is getting in on the goals this episode. Uh, we do start this episode really strongly with about three, four rage quits in a row. Sorry, that's a little spoiler, but at the start of the day, like, I was... I was just flying. Maybe the matchmaker was a bit nicer to me, seeing as it was a Sunday. And people were trying to get their games done and there was rushing and things. Um, maybe that's... Um, maybe that's a, a possibility. Uh, but he scores here with Neymar to put him back into the game. Quite a poor touch with Rashford. Uh, but I'll do a nice heel-to-heel -heel and then play it into Dalglish, who just... Nice and simply... Finesses it into the corner. So Dalglish on this episode flying. Renato flying. The team was feeling good on this Sunday. So that was another win. Put us to 10-2. and two. Feeling good. Feeling good. And into the next game. Renato a little dink. A little bit too far. But Dalglish gets there. Manages to skip through the middle. A little square into Rashford. So... Most of my goals are quite simple. I do like to get to the byline and obviously cut it back. That is probably my go-to. Uh, Rashford gets fouled on the head here. I uh, saw him move his keeper all the way to the left-hand side, which was just a big mistake. And that's not even in the corner, look, that, <laughs> that free kick. And Pope can't get anywhere near it. He just moved his keeper far too far. Look at the keeper's positioning, man. Uh, but yeah, that helped me get... I think there's one objective for that Beckham best or whatever it's called. Uh, where you got to score direct free kicks. So that helped me there. Uh, Rush with a nice touch and a little dink over the top. We take those. Nice little simple goals. Um, so I think he backs out here again. So that's three rage quits in a row to start the Sunday. Uh, feeling good. And yeah, 10 and 2. No, that would make it 11 and 2, wouldn't it? Uh, at some point in this episode, I do forget to upgrade, update the record in the stream. So I am one game behind, but I can't remember at what point. I'll probably be able to see when I'm watching it back, but 
there's one loss, I think it was, where I kind of lost my head and I just went straight back into a game, so I think I didn't update it at that point. Uh, but I'll let you guys know when I see it. But Verratti, once again on the score sheet, this guy is crazy. Like, you need to try him. So Rashford into Dalglish. Dalglish gets a pen there. I, I hate watching these sort of pens where like the defender dives in, like, fair enough. By the way, that pen, oh my God. Um, yeah, the defender dives in, fair enough. He does touch the player, but nothing happens. Like The player's got to fall over or something. But yeah, we're just having a little bit of fun now, dinking it up to Rashford. Uh, he scores a nice little volley there. Um, so that puts us to 12-2, and two, feeling good on the Sunday. Thinking I've still got another, how many games? Another 16 games to go. I think that's always in the back of my mind here. Um, so yeah. We shall see how it goes, yeah? Actually, no, I think this might be the Saturday. Can't remember. This is either Saturday or Sunday. I think this might be the Saturday, actually. Um, but, yeah. Getting straight into this game, this guy goes 1-0 up. I hate conceding first. I don't know what it is about FIFA and conceding first, but whenever it happens, the other team just seems to just waste time. And it's so frustrating. Uh, so that was a poor pass there from Dembele, but I managed to get it into Rashford, and he just finishes it off with a nice, easy, easy shot there. Um, so yeah, when I go one 0 down, I just can't seem to get back into the game. Like people seem to keep the ball really well, and I don't know why. Like when people team press me, I can't seem to get out. But when I do it to people, they just so e they just get out so easily. Um, so I got to try and work on that. But yeah, quite poor defending looking back at that from me. I kind of overextended with Kunde. Um, so Rashford's through here, the middle. Renato had a nice assist. Um, so yeah, quite a simple goal to get us back into him. Watching these clips back really does help. Uh, like when I'm watching like even that Kunde situation, probably at the moment I thought I'd done nothing wrong. But looking back, it's quite a big mistake. Uh, but yeah, Renato through here, brings the keeper out. Quite a simple little chip over the top. We take those. We take those and move. We move. So 3-2 up. We just wanted to try and extend the lead here because this guy was really good. Um, we just wanted to get the win, move on, get into the next game. So we go 4-2 up and there was a pause. So I was like, please, 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 please rage quit. Like you, you bet, You're probably the same level as me or even better. But he rage quit and I was so thankful for that. So... That moved us to 13-2, and two, I think it was. Yep, the record changed, so it wasn't that game I missed off. So, yeah, 13-2. and two. Renato travelling with the ball here, trying to commit a few defenders. And, yeah, straight into Rashford, who's always going to finish that. It just bangs it into the top corner. Trying to pull his CDMs out a bit here. Uh, play it into Dembele, who's just free. And Renato pulls out from the goal line, which is perfect. You know, a nice little finish uh, to finish it off. So Renato seems to be in all of these clips, to be honest. Uh, Dalglish, a nice power finish again. But yeah, Renato, if you've not tried Renato, just just get him in your team. Like I've played so many centre mids, but there's no one up on Renato's level at the moment. Um, I haven't tried... I haven't tried quite a few of centre mids that people do use, sort of like a, what well, like Europa League Kessie or, um, kind of the, the teams where you need like a full Serie A to link people in and things like Nine Golan and players like this. I've not used CMs like that, but the generic sort of Pogba, um, Pogba, the generic ones, Pogba, Kante. Um, Lorente, sort of the meta sort of centre mids, and Renato tops them all. He's unreal. Um, so yeah, Rashford finishes a nice chance there. A nice little tap in. Seems to have a lot of tap ins this weekend. <laughs> Looking back at it, maybe I was getting a bit lucky in places. But when you're playing, you don't think you're getting lucky. And as soon as something goes against you, you're like, you're like, oh, I'll never get lucky and all this, but. Watching the clips back, it makes you realise what was going on that weekend and what you was doing wrong. 
and maybe if you was getting lucky or you wasn't as bad as you thought. So yeah, two new up here. Just trying to draw him out a bit. Uh, he was Oh, Dalglish, that has a finish, right? Dalglish, when you just got to power those finishes, like it's if you finesse, it just floats uh, with no power. But if you just literally just do a power shot, it just flies in. But Rashford with his power shots as well, he's crazy, absolutely crazy. So four new up. I was hoping for another rage quit, uh, just to move this episode on. Uh, but yeah, what did I just witness? Varane went to kick the ball, missed it. He shot, hit the pose, rebound straight back to his feet and he taps it in. Like, why? Uh, so that makes it 4-1. He comes forward again and makes it 4-2. At this moment here, I just thought, oh no, I'm going to crumble. And he gets through with Gaia. Plays a ball that goes through Varane again. But he gets 4-3 and I managed to hold on to the game. So we got through that. We got through the little crumble. Uh, Rashford out to Ravratti here. Dinks it in. Renato with a header. This guy, Renato's a joke. So yeah, I felt, oh, I didn't see the record, but we should be 15-2. and two. I don't know if that was the last game that I didn't change it. Um, but yeah. Into Jao Felix here. This guy was the best guy I matched up to this point. He was unreal. He had like baby Ronaldo, Butra. He had uh, Felix. I think he had Neymar as well. He was just tearing me a new one. Like I couldn't get near the ball. He was a joke. So I think I take an L here. I think I think this is a crazy score, like seven something. Uh, but yeah, looking at this defending, it's not good enough. Like I'm not I'm not pressing. I'm not backing off. I'm not doing either. <laughs> I'm just sort of just no man's land. Uh, he's got Ronaldo. I got to get close to Ronaldo. He, his turning speed's not the best, so you got to get close. Uh, but yeah, nice little cross into Rashford here. Finish it off, put us back into the game. Uh, Dalglish, get, oh, I get really lucky there with Gomez. And then I'll finish that off to make it 3-3. Free, free. Probably the other guy was really raging at this point because I didn't deserve to be a 3-3. Free, free. But this is where I should have took my opportunity and tried to frustrate him, I guess. Um, but straight after half-time, he's running down the line, plays a ball uh, to Kante, passes it into Ronaldo. And I thought that was quite lucky there. Ren done perfect defending and it just went straight through his legs and oh, sometimes you put your players in the best positions possible and it just doesn't work so you can only oh that was sick from him there nice little drag back I thought he was going to power it near post but he dragged it and then went for the far post so we go forwards with Dembele trying to get back into this game I can see from my player I am rushing quite a bit uh, but we managed to get a goal back 5-4 don't know why I've got Kunde out here, but he gets ruined by Butra. Plays it into Jao Felix. He, he's trying to get me to commit, and I do. I thought uh, I was on the bloody line. Oh, how did that go in? I forgot about that goal. What the hell? I actually really forgot about that goal. That's triggered me again. <laughs> I was really triggered at that point. Uh, I went full out attack trying to get back into the game, and he just starts scoring goals. And Yeah, I kind of lost my head at this point. Yeah, you probably say, see from the video at the top. Uh, I don't put my voice com live in here because I do tend to swear a little bit. <laughs> um, I need to kind of cut it out because I would like to put my live com in here. So I'm going to try and, and look, yeah, look at this team. We've got Eusebio. You've got Garincha in there as well. At this point, I think I had a phone call at the same time. Um, so I didn't have my cam or my mic on. Uh, but this guy goes one nil up. At this point, I was on a phone. I was like, oh, trying to bite my lip. <laughs> trying not to rage down a phone. Um, but we managed to get back into this. Um, Dalglish, very lucky there. Nice little footwork. Gets lucky again. And then they just bang the shot near post. That was a, such a lucky goal. Um, so, yeah, I think at this point here, I get another goal. And then he goes for the rage quit, I'm pretty sure. Or it's the end of the game, so... This is part two, next 10 games. I think it's 15, no, 16 and four. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next 10 games.